It's truly an honor to stand here before you with this gathering of university leadership, faculty, students. Because throughout my life, I've had the privilege to meet with some pretty remarkable, incredible people. And I've been influenced by them as I am here by you. Starting with my mother, as you said, who instilled in me her passion for education. Then I, I would also evoke a towering figure like Mandela, whose very life is a lesson in itself. But in receiving this fellowship, I think in particular those young people that I'm working with in Mexico, South Sudan, and Uganda. They come from places that have been impacted by chronic forms of conflict and armed violence. Some have been through painful trials that many adults will never experience in their entire lives. Those who were child soldiers missed many years of their schooling, and some of them, large portions of them, never have seen a college, like most of you in this room. Let me add immediately that these young people, they, they don't want to be seen as victims. They do not live in the past. They live in the hope and the aim of a new future. They are an amazingly optimistic group of people. They keep coming up with bright ideas, new ideas, to help the youth, the people, turn their communities into prosperous spaces, into places, places that are filled with peace. So they, they deserve my recognition on this day when I receive this honorary fellowship of SOAS because they are some of my role models. I do believe that their capacity to transform their communities into better places is in itself a call for action that everyone must heed, especially you, the students of SOAS, who have the privilege to be taught to look at the world with an open mind. This this freshness of your vision is a blessing. This freshness also is a deep responsibility. Congratulations to all of you for graduating from this exceptional university. I look forward to witnessing the great contributions that you will make as you continue with this freshness, this open mind, to be able to see the problems to be able to address the problems of our society and make your mark there. From that, I, I, I'm proud to get to know you as I get to watch you and witness you begin to do the work that you'll do to change our world. Thank you for this honor. Thank you for this honorary fellowship. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate it.